Hey, it's Erin. When it comes to building your ideal physique, oftentimes we're looking at training for hypertrophy or muscle gain. And this means that we are training the muscles themselves. We want to mold, we want to sculpt, we want to look at specific areas of the muscles even to create your ideal physique. Now, if you're training for performance, that includes speed, power, or strength, a lot of times you're gonna be focused on training the movements themselves, and you may not be as worried about where you're putting that muscle on as much as how you perform in your specific sport or in the event that you're training for. This is video number two in the series of how to train the muscles. If you wanna check out video number one, I'll leave a link in the description below. In that video, we looked at legs and glutes and gym and home variations to get you the best results. Today, we are focused on building beautiful shoulders. And of course, we're looking at gym variations and home variations. So we'll be talking about angles, tension, and really how to create your ideal workout regardless of where you're training. So without further ado, let's train. Our first gym exercise is a plate loaded shoulder press machine. I love this machine because it really gets you in a proper pressing form. The handles are going to be slightly in front of your body. Make sure you adjust the seat to where you're getting full range of motion and full range of motion is where your upper arm reaches parallel or just below parallel to the floor at that mid rep point. Wrists stay nice and straight. And also make sure you're stabilizing with the core. Even though you're on a machine, it's really important to stabilize as this is going to allow you to press evenly between right and left side. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down, and also make sure your thumb is wrapped around those handles. Let's recreate that exercise at home. We're gonna do a dumbbell Z press. Now the dumbbell Z press is a different variation. If you're used to training at home, you're probably doing this exercise on a bench. And the Z press is going to allow you to get your upper body a little bit further back. So those dumbbells are slightly in front of your shoulders. You're going to mimic that exact range of motion that you had on the machine. So wrists stay nice and straight forearms are perpendicular to the floor and you're keeping that constant tension so you're not spending too much time in that fully extended state and you can spend a little bit more time with your upper arm at parallel or just below parallel to the floor our next gym exercise is the lateral raise machine this machine is excellent for ensuring that your motion is the same from left to right and it also helps you keep constant tension on those muscles. Here my arms are extended but they're not fully extended. Make sure you keep your elbow soft so you don't want to lock out that elbow. Palms stay facing the floor and you're not going to spend too much time at the bottom. So once your arm reaches almost perpendicular to the floor, start your next rep. Let's do the home version. Bands are gonna be so effective for home training. This is going to really give you that constant tension like you would get with a machine. And also it's gonna give you increased difficulty at that mid rep point. So same idea here. Arms are going to be extended, but elbows stay nice and soft. Palms are facing the floor. I really focus on keeping tension on the delts. I like to think about pushing the dumbbells away versus lifting them up. This is gonna help keep those traps out of the equation. You can lean forward slightly with the upper body, and it's gonna get you into a little bit better form Next exercise is the Smith Machine Upright Row. One of the great things about using machines is that you've got that range of motion that is the same from rep to rep. It's going to offer you some stabilization. 
here you're taking an overhand grip wrapping those thumbs around the bar and the wide grip is especially helpful if you have any kind of wrist issues it puts the wrist in a little bit of a safer position so as you pull you want to keep those wrists straight and you want to think about pulling with just the shoulders and lean forward slightly. All right, so we're going to recreate this with our home exercise. And this is a wide grip dumbbell upright row. So you'll see we're mimicking that range of motion. Overhand grip, leaning forward slightly, keeping that grip wide. This allows you to keep your wrists straight and really focus on keeping constant tension on the muscle. So you don't want to spend too much time with your arms perpendicular to the floor. If you're going to spend more time, spend more time in that mid rep position, really get that good squeeze on the delts. Our next gym exercise is a shoulder press, but we're facing backwards. We're going to hit a little bit more of the rear delts with this variation. And with this exercise, you're going to go lighter than you would with the re regular shoulder press. Using the bench for support, the handles are going to be just in line with your ears, maybe a bit behind. And very similar to the regular shoulder press exercise, you want to get your upper arm to about parallel to the floor, maybe a little bit below parallel to the floor. Forearms are per perpendicular to the floor, wrists are nice and straight. And this exercise is difficult. If you haven't done this exercise before, definitely go lighter to start with. All right, so we are doing the home version of that exercise. I've got the bench to just about a 90 degree angle. So you're going to be leaning forward slightly. Choose a weight that's about 40 to 50% of what you would normally use for dumbbell shoulder press. And get those dumbbells just about in line with your ears making sure those forearms are perpendicular to the floor. Then with the free weight version, you want to make sure that you're pressing evenly with both sides and that you're a mirror image from right to left. So if you want to flip your bench to where you have a mirror, if you have a mirror at home, it can be helpful to just check that form. We're going to hit those rear delts with our gym exercise, which is a rope face pull. Now I've got the pulley adjusted to where it's just about above my head. This is going to allow me to pull that rope right about to the bridge of my nose. Now when you pull, you want to make sure you're keeping your elbows up. This is going to help keep that emphasis on the rear delts. If you go too heavy and you allow your elbows to drop, it becomes more of a back exercise. So here we're focused on those rear delts. Rear delts are tiny muscle. So we got to find that balance of lifting heavy, just heavy enough to hit the rear delts, but not so heavy that the lats start to take over. Knees are slightly bent, feet are shoulder width apart. This is going to give you solid foundation to be able to pull from. You want to make sure that you keep your body nice and still. All right, so we're grabbing our band and we're recreating this exercise at home. This is a band face pull. Knees are nice and soft, feet are shoulder width apart, keeping the body still. Now with a home version, you wanna really keep that range of motion to the last, I would say two thirds of that rep. So don't spend too much time with your arms extended. You're not gonna have as much tension as you would when you pull the band to that mid rep position. So spend the most time in that mid rep position. This is going to help keep tension on those rear delts, really get you that workout you're looking for. 
keep in mind for these exercises, you don't have to exclusively do one or the other. Let's say your gym doesn't have a piece of equipment, feel free to use the at-home version. It works just as well. Really pay attention to keeping that tension on the muscle and make those last one to three reps difficult but doable with proper form. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. And if you love this idea and you wanna see more of these videos, please comment below. I love reading your comments and your feedback and whatever you guys are looking for, we will make it happen. That's it for this time. Until next time, train smart and train hard, y'all. You're so pretty. Yeah, cute.